wireless power through my hand. Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Uh, I purchased a few of these wireless power transfer circuits uh, just for experimentation. I've been playing a lo around uh, with the wireless power transfer a lot lately, and so what I've got are these two coil discs. Uh, I believe they are uh, there are 12 windings. I'm going to be analyzing this circuit a little bit later, but the circuit came with four high-bright LEDs, and uh, since there's no real current limitation on this, I'm not supposed to bring this down close to the transmitter disc. So this is the receiver disc. There's a, a small rectifier circuit on there, uh, but there's no current limitation. So that's full. Uh, that's full brightness at about an inch, an inch and a quarter, perhaps. And it receives uh, easily. That's close to three inches away, which is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the uh, I'm going to remove the connections here, and I'm going to take out my I'm going to take out my uh, multimeter, add a diode and a capacitor in there uh, to rectify it, and I'm going to measure the short circuit current on this bad boy. To my surprise, this is actually an extremely efficient circuit uh, when the receiver the, the receiver is cl very close to the transmitter. Uh, at least when the pads are horizontal as opposed to vertical. I haven't tested a vertical yet, but it shouldn't make too much of a difference. Uh, anyway, the default current that is uh, required from the transmitter is about 100 milliamps at 12 volts. And so what I'll do is I'll take my receiver that I've just placed a couple capacitors and a diode for rectification uh, at the end of the coil. I've gotten rid of the LED bank and at about three quarters of a centimeter I'm pulling almost 500 milliamps and it's, I'm sourcing apparently about 500 milliamps so that's extremely e efficient. If I bring it even closer look at that. I'm about two millimeters away sourcing 1.2 amps and I'm, I'm receiving uh, 1.05 amps. Now that's the most I've ever uh, received on a wireless power transfer circuit. Most of the stuff that I work on is very, very small. So I'll be doing some analysis on this, but this is really neat. This is a... You wouldn't have any problem charging your phone from... You can charge your phone with about 300 milliamps. So right now I'm at... Uh, that's a centimeter away, no problem. You can do a heck of a lot with that, though. Any normal LED would take one or two milliamps to to uh, to light up. So I'm at uh, I'm at at least a couple inches away right now. I could likely light up an LED down to three inches away, at least. Oh, that's more than three inches. Anyway, uh, I just figured I'd show I'd show this off. I won't be selling this specific set. But I did want the coils, the transmitter, uh, and uh, I did want to uh, to play with it and, and see what the short circuit current is. So there you have it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, have a great day.